Yeah, and, and look, uh, I'll, I'll ask you, Harry, uh, what can Furia do? I mean, we're talking about activating Junior. I, I, I feel that they're really flat at the moment. And it's very surprising um, given how, you know, dominant they've been up until this point. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, you know, you, you got to be thinking about it. Like, you know, we, we, we spoke a lot about guys like Junior, about how the pressure has been very much there. And sometimes it's more apparent than ever. Well, in a grand final, in a grand final best of five that's slipping away from you, you can only imagine how tense everything must be feeling right now. I, I hope that to get Junior activated, we see him playing very, very actively from the get-go with this CT side orb. I want to see him taking aggro peaks. I want to see him really pushing the boat out in terms of seeing what he can get away with. Uh, I, I think you need to hit the ground running here if you're Junior on that CT orb, because if you don't, and if you have a quiet first half now, you are not recovering in the second. So... Let's see if he can get that good start that we're hoping for. Vinny flashed in at Banana, but he is traded after one. The pistol round already starting to look a little bit weird as Furia now pull players towards this B-bomb site. Liquid, however, waiting with the bomb in the apartments were never destined to go B. That's exactly what they want, right? The info peak in mid is, is so unfortunate. Junior sees nothing. He still commits to staying on A in a 2-2. But Liquid, they never even took caps. They waited at the bottom of the stairs. They wanted Furia to over-rotate to make a misread. And so they have. Caserato's left Junior alone. You wanted something out of this guy. Well, this is the round that he has to perform. One on three in the site. Mollied off as well. Caserato drops the bomb. And Junior has to go back for the mid-engagement. He's tagged down low. Gives it up. Four on three for Furia. Things are comfortable right now. They can wait in this weird limbo. Bomb getting planted. Fallen escapes to the banana flank. He did hear it. He'll con that over. But Furia coming from all sides on this retake. Yeah, up through short. Grim down in the pit. This is a grimothy position through and through. Grim pit king. Let's see if he can hold on. Nope, dead immediately, of course. <laughs> And now Fallen in through the apartments. 1v4. Gonna get wrapped by Junior. And that seals the deal. They lose one man. They might get the, uh, you know, the plant go against them. But Furia, otherwise, it's a very, very clean pistol round. Complete with a nice little retake in there as well. All right, Furia with a pistol, with a lead. Who would have thunk it? Of course, nothing is free in this game as Liquid pull out two AKs in the second round. We'll get Yuri up on that boost. Lots of M4s here, lots of rifles for Furia. They know what Liquid are gonna do after that bomb plant. More than tempting, always. Org down banana on the boost. Good position for it. Especially considering it's baiting for Vinny, who's tucked in at the corner. Liquid are so patient. They're barely moving out of the ramp right now. They've got Naf holding alt mid. The two AKs working the top choke. And Caserato's there on the long side. He's tucked very tight. That means they can't kill him without swinging the boosted player as well. Grim, meanwhile, has grabbed a kill down banana. Vinny aggressed a little early, and now it's up to... Oh, he's falling in front of the wall. They line up, and he needed every kill there. That's what he gets. He was so committed, and luckily, uh, luckily for it, easy round for R. Flashed out, doesn't matter. Just destroys Liquid and Banana, and that force buy is a wash. That's exactly what Furia needs, though. We talk about a potential comeback here. Liquid 2 0 up in maps. Good start here on the CT side for Furia. Nicely done in the second round as well. Starting to uh, at least have a bit of a bonus buy coming in if they were to just lose a round on a bit of a whim. It's a bit of a good start here, though. The third round, it's a full eco on Liquid, just some pistols. Ooh. I say just some pistols. Junior goes goes down, and so does Yuri. 
Oh, no. oh man, and this bomb site is wide open now, at least for Liquid. Could be looking at getting a bomb plant. <gasps> ah, fam famous last words here, just pistols. The Molly has burnt out Caserato on that kill. Suddenly it's only Stewie, but almost having the timing onto Art with the backstab. Stewie looked annoyed on that cam. Knew how winnable that round was for Liquid. Some great entries from Fallen up mid. But ultimately it is Furious round. That being said, Liquid never really should have been in it in the first place. So you've got to get over that, get into your gun round and get onto the board. Plenty of money here for Furia. If they want, they could start off this with a double AWP setup. We'll see what they decide. Yeah, and that's exactly what we're getting. AWP on Art, yeah. AWP on Junior. No AWP very, on Liquid side. Very, very happy about that, man. I, I think I, this like... is needed. Yeah, I think when we talk about this, you know, getting uh, you know people comfortable in the weapons that they want, especially on a map like Inferno, it's great. A lot of utility here on Furia side as well. They really couldn't have been asking for much more at the start of this game. I feel like. Yeah, no, I, I, I think this is perfect, right? Uh, you know, let's see if the uh, if the double orbs are able to deliver. But if they do, hopefully that's not only the confidence boost that you need, but also the orbs on head and head and shoulders, the most prominent side they're going to be, you know, fielded on on this map. Will hit the ground running, and Junior does. There's the opener. His AWP fires off and is good for one. Well, now they're funneled back into this second AWP that waits over at Banana. It's Art holding on to this position. There's the swing, and it's the AWPs removing players left and right here. Liquor without any AWP to fight back. They're relying on the utility to try and get these pesky scoped rifles off of these angles. Three strong on this B-hold as well. There is a CT smoke and a coffin smoke. And as they go in, they're walking into a stacked bomb site. Oh, fallen with uh, an entry. And oh. the smoke, he's doubled up. He's chasing them down. It's Stewie at the back what of happened? the site, finding the third. And despite Fury having everyone, that everything. That should not have been a liquid round. They get shredded like cheese. I would love to see that from Fallen's perspective. I mean, that's unfortunate for Arthur. Misses a shot and then... Bombsite is completely smoked up, right? That's really what to expect. Like, you, you talk about if no, smokes are not being used in Banana and there's a fast execute for CTs, we tend to throw them on the bomb site, right? Gives you some more cover. But it kind of puts that in Liquid's favor this time around. And yeah, what was looking like a good Furia hold and a good Furia round, like magic, Liquid turns that around. Yeah, because right before they hit B, Naf gets a kill up mid. He kills one of the two players on A, and I was thinking, oh, Liquid, if only they knew that. They could walk into a three-on-one on the A side right now. They go into the Lions then, and they come out with, well, quite a mane around their neck. Like Hawaiian flowers. My, oh, my. That's one way to start strong. And off the back of that, it's not like, you know, Furia got duped and had to save guns. They only got away with one weapon. So already the money's starting to get dug a hole. Furia putting everything into this one. They've got the orb. They've got the couple of rifles still, but that's a scary way to start your half. Art's brought out a bit of a signature weapon for him, though. The MP5 SD. Yeah, we've seen a lot of that. He is like one of the only pros, to my knowledge, that consistently uses that gun. Oh, Junior, careful. I like it, though. He's, he is like exploring where his limits lie a lot right now, you know, like constantly not afraid to give these aggressive Ooh. pushes a go. The MP5 will betray our <gasps> and Stewie, Stewie chases baby. down Junior. Wow. I love that out of Stu. Look at his room. Is the library rotate. Bombs and apps. Grim can take his time. Stewie is the surprise right here on long. Vinny could have cleared him there. Oh, he does. Double deagle damage. Leaves Liquid a man down, but they're still in, uh, convinced about this A site. Yuri's been hiding out all along in the middle of it, dropping the bomb, and Caserato pushing the Moto Smoke finds Furia a fourth. Those two rifles that needed to show up, well, they did. Despite those fast entries from Liquid, they go a bit slow, they go a bit cold.
bit unfortunate there as well. We see Fallen running back. It's intentional to try and get a Fury member to maybe expect Liquid to fall back to B and put Stewie in a good position. But I believe it was Vinny or maybe it was maybe it was Yuri, but came from uh, Connector rather than Library and got Stewie in the back. But, you know, yeah. had there been another round, Library push, it would have been a three on two. And then we were waiting for the smokes to fade by Small Pit to try and sandwich the bomb site. Much better start here now, though, from Furia. Can they keep it up? Yeah, I mean, we, it goes to the back of, you know, both of these two teams were struggling on that CT side last time around these guys played, so... While that has been two pretty dominant first maps for Liquid, you can't forget that Inferno CT side, if you don't have good economies, really difficult. The fact that Furia is 4-1 up here already. Still a double AWP setup. Yeah, Junior keeps trying to get involved. They keep flashing him off. He escaped in the past, but this time it's finally a kill for Liquid. And they've got two of them as well. Caserata with a crossfire could melt this attack. The Liquid really want to go. They've seen both players now. They could just run back to B. Grim's holding the banana, and so is Art with the orb. Getting a quick shot and backing up again. He's even got a smoke to stall this round out. Liquid thought they could out-rotate Furia. Instead, they've got to get through the man at the helm of it. Oh, the oh, leg. It's the leg. Oh, that is devastating. That is unreal, man. Like, now on numbers alone, you could justify saving here. If it were a two-on-two, -two, I, I, I think they're going for this every single of day of the week. But, man, you know, with two-on-three, you just look, like, plain as day. You know, you don't have money in, in the bank account for the next no round. No utility for this retake there. either. Yeah, no util. The only thing you've got going your way is the kits, but... That's the extent of it. And so they will just save, holding on to an AWP, keeping an AK. Liquid are on to a second. Devastating for Art, man. Few pixels different. That could have been a retake. Yeah, and that's when we really start to like talk about you know the money system in the game right now. The new money it's known as been here a few years now. But uh like we were even talking about this uh off air and breaks as well. You know, it's rounds like that in the olden days and in, in, in the start of go, you would be going for that. You would be giving it a retake. And uh, I'd love to get back to that with the money. I I don't know what the middle ground is. There, there is one certainly, there's gotta be. But uh someone better with maths would have to figure that one out. <laughs> Love to see, you know, rounds where you can have CTs going for positions like that. Because, you know, certainly winnable retake. Like, you, you can't doubt that. Stewie's low. Definitely a chance he got some grenades. But it's just the risk reward. The risk if we lose both our guns with no kills might not out, you know, benefit the, the reward of winning the round. Because it is such a risk. Now Liquid, a late rotate back to B. And all the money in the world off the back of it. Fallen's even orping. He's been straying away from it a bit on the T side, but when it's dropped at your feet like that, you can't help but pick it up. <laughs> the jump CT peak. We saw John G get away with that in uh, for BMB back in previous phase. I feel like Fury has to take a gamble here a little bit. No nades left to be holding off a potential push and plenty of utility left on the liquid side. Maybe even a flash out just for some information play here is to be expected by Fury. I've been going out of banana now. The flash, here we go. Nicely okay. done. They wouldn't be able to hold that bomb site, and I think they know it, so actively see Vinny being flashed out here. He does spot the bomb now Ooh. as well and should be seeing a rotate. 30 seconds left. Yeah, Finny committed to that kill. He would have had Fallen dead to rights. He was still throwing the molly. He was still in the animation, but he jiggled and he gave Fallen a second to brighten his aim. Luckily, the Orpa Jr. will pick one out of middle and he backs up as well, not giving Liquid the pick back. They're going to drop out of apartments. Junior's here to deal with them, but he smoked off it onto Yuri. One kill. Junior getting chased and he misses his shot again. Fallen's got the plant. Just enough time for it for Liquid. And Furia on for another retake. This one at least winnable. Naf down here in the pit going to be the first point of contact. He's also the guy with all the HP. Oh. They don't check for him because he's deep on the angle. So Art gets beheaded trying to cross into the site. 
Okay, Serato just going to be a save, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, grabs the orb. He's out of there. All right, now this is starting to get excited again. Liquid are building back into this game. You know, once more, the economy's been ravaged for Furia. That is going to be a reoccurring theme as long as the victories keep coming in yeah. for Liquid. And I'm, I'm sure that's what Liquid will go through on the second half as well, right? Like, it's Inferno. Happens to every team. It's just about, you know, doing the maths well enough that you can keep your economy above water. Yeah, I mean, it's the most smart belief... about the as well. Like you're saying, especially in uh, rounds like this, you got to be pretty smart with the buys that you will end up getting. Oh, heavy B. Ah, the smoke. Coming down for Liquid as well. They even smoked the top of car as the Furia in anticipation of a Molotov. That's like that old fallen bounce smoke. Puts out the car molly, still lets you have a bit of a gap to peek. Oh, not the perfect flash. It does bonk a liege in the apartment, but luckily no one there to punish. It's USPs in middle here for Furia. They go heavy B early, but they're already right back to their A stack. And Liquid actually never saw the grouping of Furia on B, so they're not, you know, scared of taking over this site right now. All the more reason to fully rotate. Caserato will likely be left to save that AWP, but Furia, any kills they can get here is a blessing. Yeah, they've at least got a lot of bodies here, right, to try and cause some chaos. That's a nice dink. Also, you've got the CT boost getting employed. Another one for Yuri. It's always a chance that these rounds can get out of hand. Liquid, they want to try and get this bomb down. And Really dodge any chance of the pistols getting away with murder. One plant's coming through. All them plugging in the numbers. There's a follow up for Nath. Vinny's coming through this oh. smoke. Oh, the backstab, but. Okay. All right. Never <laughs> okay, so wondering where it all went so yeah. wrong. In sync oh. shots from a Legion now for the back of B and Banana, respectively. Still a very uh, good round for Furia, though, considering Case Serato had his AWP at that A bomb site. Make it sweaty for Liquid. Yeah, making it expensive. Not why Liquid have much of a bank to fall back on. Naf is the money man for the team right now. This is weird. 4 4. And hey, this started far more convincingly for Furia than any other map in this series. Overpass, you could argue. They were 5-4 up in that map after some back and forth, but Liquid eventually ran away with the first half. And the second as well. You were there, you probably remember it. This entire series has been one-sided, so if there were any time for Furia to, to wake up, to come alive, to show us what they've been showing us all year, well, it would be now. Time I'd call it at least. Let's talk about it. Unfortunate as well. We talk about it. It's even rounds like this where you're like, well, what could Fury be doing differently? And it really, it's just a very difficult map to play on the CT side where it really does rely heavily on a lot of utility, being able to be very mobile on the map with, you know, flashbangs for, for peaks and potentially getting a kill, but, but also at the same time, these small tops and the smoke just to hold tease uh, off a little bit so you see rotates since it is a pretty long map it takes a while to get to each site it's looking like a want to do a quick a take here at least gets flashed up in mid it does go down but we have all four members here no one's sniffing over at banana good hold so far by furia Still only two players actually in the site. The other guy, <laughs> Junior, is over here in Aww. library. And he's dealing with his North American brethren. Dropping Stewie out of the round. Naf, well, he's good for the follow-up. Junior and Caserato are going to keep that round in check nice. for Fury. A great little A hold out of them there. Right, losing one player. That's the extent of the damage done. 
That's an important thing to take into consideration, right? We keep mentioning how the money has been a reoccurring problem. Well, there is a clean round, and it was versus the rifles as well. So these are like important building blocks to actually assembling a good CT side now. Starting to fall in place for Furia. Look, with an eco looming, if they can keep this round clean as well, they might be on their way to a very, very good first half here. Absolutely. Might be some kills coming out for Liquid, but you can't bank on them winning the round, especially not when that is where your rifle gets. Yeah, that's the hero gun. Gone yeah. immediately. And it can't even be picked up either. You know, you might be able to get your hand on it now. All in. My man to dot it. And they get out into top mid again. But Furious should be ready for this. Oh, nice nade. There's the AK handed over once more to a lead on the boost, and he's been spotted. Dealt with before the molly comes down. Junior with a missed shot, but it might not cost much here for Furia as they have all the kills and the bomb. Look, he's being super smart here as well, Junior. It's very easy. You're thinking, oh, it's a pistol, you know, eco. I'm just going to peek, right? You want the kills, but he stays alive, which is the most important thing. Five members as well for Furia. You need this. Just build up the bank. We see now as well. This is a really good buy now from Furia. And for Liquid, we'll go back to these these Galil buys. Plenty of nades still though. Stewie was a little bit short off of an AK and full utility, but smart enough to uh, go for a Galil anyway. And he's been trying to go for these upper B picks, but always smoked. So he flashes himself through, no fear. He's often that guy that we talk about with these opening jewels, right? Uh, you know, one of the highest stats on the entries to this event. Well, it's Banana where he often goes for them, but Vinny was at the sandbags ready to go. And Art's covering with the orb. The Molly in the smoke gives off this angle for free. And even though Fallen trades, he's gone after one. Art's dropped the bomb. Massive round out of art right now on this orb. And Liquid are just scattered right now all over the map. Oh, the double orb B hold Junior here to help art out. Doesn't need Art it. doesn't need help, mate. He's just wrecking them. Woo. The wrecking and art goes on a, a, a real show in there up at top banana. Great sequence out of him. Couldn't have asked for more. And nice to see Furia here showing up. I want to see a 3-0 grand finals. Three rounds in a row here. Fantastic round for Mark there. Three kill. Hold it banana. Liquid's been struggling a little bit when Furia has been deciding to fight over there. Oh my word. This could get weird. Keserato is low. And Yuri is the only man left up on A, but he's Got it under control, kind of. Vinny will come in. Fast rotation from B. Control is maintained by Fury at eight to four. This is a great CT half from them. And it could be what was needed to blaze a trail to recovery. Liquid are going to come in with attack timeout. Justifiably so, right? We've seen them every single map so far. Liquid have gotten off to a good start. And now in map number three, in what could have been, you know, the final map for Liquid, it's Furia steamrolling in the opening uh, in the opening rounds. Yeah, and it's not like Liquid haven't tried these. I was gonna say Furia have been starting some of these rounds with three over two towards Banana, and Liquid has had some quick rounds towards A, but they haven't been really quick, right? It's been you know proper setups and whatnot. They still have ample time if they want to try and you know wrap around Furia's A site here before that rotate come in. Saw time out here now though. We'll see what. Um, what they talked about, if they have a game plan. With the double ops setup, yeah, you tend to either just fight for banana early, just try and take that map control quick, or you tend to wait a little bit later when you know that it's only going to be one op holding banana. You get it a little bit for free.
Imperia still holding with two. Might need a bit of support. Junior is dispatched. Running that safe rotate. Liquid won't be able to hear it. That's why Junior is going wide in the spawn rather than running the speedway. And Liquid is still on the default right now. They're still holding mid and apps not committed to this B round just yet. Bomb's going to get picked up though. That will decide. So we're going up mid. We'll see. If that is the be-all and end-all of this round, Art close with the AWP, and only Art can get away with shots like that. A leech picked up, Molly down, and Stewie's got to respect it. There's an Apps flank, Art's at least trapped in, or so they think it's Yuri instead, and Art's got taken down by Stewie. Yuri up in the bedroom, waiting for Naft to cross his way. Fallen's alone, a B, and Naft Dink does get the kill. That's a huge frag to find, as no one sits left on this A site. Junior's run right back, but he could get smoked off right here. It's going to come down. Nothing Junior can say or do about this round. It's all liquids. And, yeah, Furia, they might just have to save from the get-go. Ouch. Yeah, but we slow it down yeah. here for Liquid. They do a really good job here to take over Banana, right? To take their time, then sequence. They're done with Banana. They take, take over apps. Sure, or art apps and mid rather. Art is, re is ready. You do have it there. We don't see Liquid just run up mid after the first kill from Art. Especially when he's boilered and you can't expecting one more Furia player to be playing that app setup. Just solely because of what, you know, for Art be shot in the back. Naf actively taking his time there in apps as well, so they essentially just choke the Furia members out. And while this is going on, it's weird, and at the same time, you know, Liquid's doing a really good job in holding these Furia players off at Banana, so they're not pushing, they're not doing anything. Hence why we see that super late rotate coming in from Junior, at that point, it's too late. Man, yeah, if I'm if I'm being honest, I'm I you know, even though this is a great scoreline for Furia, I'm not really sold on uh on, on like how we're seeing Junior have to be used right now, right? Like this double AWP, I feel like no matter what, Junior is always the AWP who's a little more restricted in terms of his movements, right? Art is very much still the mobile one. I think, you know, you've seen him try his hand at Banana Peaks. He's had rounds where he's switched it up and headed over towards A. Junior, a lot of the time, he comes towards B in the early stages to drop some util, but then just goes back over to that A site late in the round. This is what I mean, like, Art given all the freedom he wants. Sometimes, maybe even too much freedom. Art go kill. Art's okay. And actually, that, that little opening could leave you in a bad way. This B site is now softened up drastically. Yeah, that was bonkers. Um, but as I was saying, yeah, man, I know it feels like a lot of the time, Junior, you know, he's kind of having to come back around into uh, into almost lost bomb sites. So oh, this wow. time, they try to get ahead of it. They say, look, man, Junior, you hold down B. We'll swap you out with Vinny. But unfortunately for Furia, this decision, finally giving Junior a little bit of room, couldn't have come at a worse time. It's an A play. And they've got the entries. They've got the kills. And with it, they've won the round. Yeah, it is a bit of a sad story for Junior, certainly, in, in some of these rounds, right? Like, I, that being said, I don't want him to be going for these plays that Art's going for. Like, you know, Art's doing that because he's comfortable. It's because he wouldn't, it's what he knows and loves. For Junior, yeah, he may be a great author, but that's such a... You know, it can be a liability, that kind of stuff. The only thing is, is it's just to me right now, you know, I, I, like, as the outsider looking in, Junior just kind of looks like a bit of a spare part of yeah, this Yeah, for sure. Right? Like, like, I, I, find my, long player. I find myself looking and it's like, well... You know, he's normally at, at long late after having to go drop the B util. But he's a lot kind of, of struggled to play into a lot of these A take yeah. rounds. Like, normally he's just saving in library. No, for sure. Liquid Fakes have been really good, though, like in, in early defaults. If you never really know where they're going, I wouldn't even say that that's like, oh, Junior's misreading. He's probably getting called on his rotates. His team are probably telling him what to do, where to go, where they need him. So, you know, it is just a lot of misreads coming out from Furia, rare misreads. And some great T side rounds from Liquid, just keeping Furia on their toes. But yeah, I mean that it goes to show that it's it's part of the Liquid plan when almost every single round the long player is left in the wrong bomb site or on the wrong side of the smoke. So yeah, it's coming down to Liquid. And again, R push down B. It looked like a nice play, but a godlike flash from Liquid and Stewie jumping through the smoke. That's how they'll take him down. Elige did a lot of that on Overpass, even. If you remember the toilets, he was running through. He got two, like, jumping through smoke kills onto orbs. 
Yeah, and let's not forget as well, we talk about Junior, especially on this map, compared to other maps, they put Junior in a lot of these anchor positions, right? A by himself on overpass, Mirage B by himself, Inferno yeah. is the one that he's with the group, right? And you can kind of tell as well, maybe they have tried to make this work with Junior alone, you know, B, the B player, maybe anchoring that a little bit more, which would allow R to be very flexible on the map, right? He's very aggressive would have him not only go B, you know, when he goes B, sometimes, yeah, maybe Junior goes with him, which we then tend to see. But yeah, he has been getting caught a lot. You know, the rotates are definitely there for Liquid. Uh, not really finding himself a lot of opportunities in this in, in the game yet. Well, this is the round, Robin. This off. is the opportunity. He's yeah. not been in the right position, but now he is, and he's still only going to get one kill. Kaserato comes through with a frag, but he's smoked off now have the bomb site. No saving today in this two on three. You've got to give it a go, but make that a one on three. Fallen's cut off Yuri out of banana and Caserato doesn't have the health to make this maintain. It's Liquid coming back into their own in the T side and finding seven rounds. Finally, Fury a win a half. That might be good for them, but man, this final rests on the second half of Inferno if Liquid want to steal it away in three. J join us for what could be the end of this BO5 in just a minute. So the map is Inferno and they say the truest of hells as a competitor is knowing you could have done more, could have had more chances to win, but only are left with the cold taste of defeat like ashes in the mouth. Can Furia turn it around against Team Liquid? This is potentially their last chance. Oh, and it's a meat grinder to open it up, Reacher. It, it is not what you wanted here as a Furia fan. Oh my goodness. The bomb is dropped in top middle. This pistol round mattered so much to Furia. And now it's just Caserato and Junior. Oh, the damage done to Caserato. Never mind. It's all on. One North American dude dead out of the apartments. Heartbreak for Furia. And an even scoreline now for Liquid. Yeah. They are licking their lips at the sight of this one. A chance at the 3-0 grand final. You know, Richard mentioned something with pistol players and stats before. I am curious, Richard, the Mr. Stats guy now, you know, uh, yes. pistol round wins in general for Furia because yesterday versus Extremum, they did not win a single one, right? Still ended up winning the series. But even here versus Liquid, let me let me get on that for you. I will. They check obviously and, trade uh, pistol this sure. time, but yeah, uh, I am a little bit curious. Yeah, it hasn't been pretty. Even on overpass where they picked up a pistol win, it was the force by uh, flipped it upside down. <laughs> Don't want to be so, dropping this round, Liquid. Here we go. Uh, I have the uh, conversion rate percentage of pistol wins. So across 16 maps, Furia have won 11. Pistol rounds and lost 21. Oh, yeah. that's, that's, not great. that's not great. Yeah. Compared to Liquid, Richard, where's that? And Team Liquid have won 17 and lost 15 from the same amount of maps played, giving them an overall conversion of 53% to Furious 34. Yeah, I mean, showing right now in this series, Liquid have started off every half to their betterment other than the first half of this map. And even that has been recovered by this point already. So yeah, Liquid have got to be feeling it, got to be ready to close this one, send Furia to bed. And what a win it would be, right? This has been a rival old as time itself. And one that Furia have got the better of Liquid overall in the majority of maps. That being said, the last two, B, uh, two BO3 series uh, from these two teams have come out in favor of Liquid. One even being just two days ago in the upper bracket. So, new liquid, new results. Yeah, and listening to Lee Shride, that was before the upper bracket final, but he did say, I feel like Furia has a lot of holes. They proved it two days ago. They're looking to prove it again here today. And if anything, these holes have been pretty more apparent today than they were two days yeah. ago. Much oh, better yeah. game plan coming in from Liquid. Anyone could have won that match. 
last time they played, right? Just coming down to so many overtimes. Stewie, he is playing with them right now. And Nat comes in to help out. Stewie doesn't need your help, but it is appreciated and anyway. It's concerning though, isn't it? Because like, you know, while we've seen Liquid improve, you, you know, you guys mentioned that last best of three and how the holes are looking more, more apparent than ever. While we've seen Liquid actively get better, both at you know, to their own credit, but also exploiting these vulnerabilities in the first place. It feels like Fury have almost like stagnated, right? This isn't the same Team Liquid that we had from that last series, but it certainly feels like the same Fury. -er. Yeah, I mean, maybe they're coming in with that mindset of like, we should have just had it last time, just play our game and, you know, maybe luck is on our our side versus for Liquid. I'm not saying that's the case, right? I'm sure Fury had a, a game plan coming into this as well, just haven't unfolded the way that it has for Liquid. But I mentioned it even on Nuke, right? You see the CT status for Liquid, you know, maybe that's something they would like to run before prior, but I do feel like they were putting a, a lot of extra emphasis on the inner bomb side, right? So, you know, adapting to who you're playing against, same thing could be said for Fury versus Extreme M rather than these 15 lobby uh, defaults. We did see them act to be fight for outside a little bit more. But it does feel like Liquid has Fury are more figured out than the other way around. Yeah, someone we haven't given uh, enough credit to during this event has been over in the observing platform. It's Efren. He's been mashing the keys, all the right ones, all the yeah. numbers, one through zero. And he's been doing a great job. So I, I, I wanted to, fans. yeah, I wanted to give a bit a big shout out to you know him and of course everyone else in production because this event has run really really smoothly. It's uh, it's been a banger. We've had some great content pieces. We've had some great laughs. So yeah, shout out Efren at the, at the observing station. And oh, oh Vinny, that's the you want to start. I Look at not, that setup. That was that was unreal. That was like a napalm strike yeah, or that something, was sick. man. Like. That was that a nade, covered nade molly all setup. Mini had no chance of getting away. He was so dead. So, oh, and fallen with the immediate reaction. Drops the gun that was in play. While it's been retrieved, you don't have armor behind it. This is about to be 11 on the board for Liquid, unless Junior and Serato, an unlikely twosome here, could try and go against the grain. But you're not, not favoring their odds right now. Yeah, three on this site. Fallen's still got long on lockdown if Junior's going to try and come to clear it. Any util or is it the dry peak? Yep, dead to the orb. Serato gives it a go, but you don't want to face Fallen, not in this form. Three kills in the round. Liquid setting themselves up to close this series. And what a statement it would be. Finally, the pauses are coming from Furia for a change. Yeah, let's take some more sip of the uh, energy drinks. We need them. Looking pretty uh, somber there in the Fury camp. Mm. But it's not over I tell yet. You, what, though. you know, throughout the uh, the RMR events of 2020, you know, like we did have a very kind of back and forth tug of war between the big organizations. Of, you know, NA Counter-Strike. Very exciting that to begin the 2021 RMRs, Liquid might take it in such a dominant fashion. That would be uh, a very, very cool thing for the Liquid organization and for these players trying to show that they're still on top and that with the addition of Fallen, you know, bringing over some of that Brazilian flair, some of that Brazilian legacy that this guy has, you know, it's only made the team sharper yeah, Fallen just took a, a little fight down alt mid there with a deep molly. I'm sure Fury was scared of, of getting through the middle mollies after what happened to Vinny last time. Smart uh, of Vinny to actually jump peek the, the corner at top alt. He baits a shot out of Fallen and sends him back. So that could have been a freebie for Fallen. Instead, it's Fury setting up to explode in middle. They're walking into the orb again, and they don't know how close he is. Oh, oh it's almost the collateral. Goal. But he gets out! Look Ow. at him! The mad lad leaping away! Not today, baby! Fallen's given another chance.
now wrapping around to the oh. library, but it's a liege taking heads off from the pit. That sucked the momentum out of this A play. Vinny's trying to get cute with it. He's trying to figure out how he can play around these smokes at long. This double pit setup is something you are going to be envious of. If you're a Fury fan, this is going to feel rough to oh. get past them with the swing. They deal with this short take. It's just Junior all alone, man. Blink of an eye. He is the only player left. And he's got a rough round on his plate. There's another man down in pit. Junior should be aware of this. Oh, Fallen man. Great round, yeah. Fall. Great. He, he's fall. he's on one. He's King on one full. Right, compare compare the CT side drive with, with, with Junior on long with this AWP, and then you know compare that to the impact that Fallen's finding with his AWP in some of these rounds. Right, just sitting on long, re-aggroing at the perfect time. To be fair, Fury aren't flashing him off. They keep dry peeking him. That does help. But man, he's just been all over the board. What is this by? Yeah. <laughs> uh, if I'm honest, Fury are kind of looking out of it. Like that round there, even it didn't really feel like there was much going on. There wasn't a lot of room like for anything to get excited in that round for Fury. It all just kind of spotted to a very, you know, uneventful ending. And uh, now Art's bought himself a sawn off. Like, okay, cool. You know, it's like a pretend gun. That's very funny. But will he actually get any kills with it? I would wager Ooh. no, but of course, stranger things have happened. K Serato leads the charge oh. and is almost in with a triple. Uh, how is this going to shape up to be the round that Fury <laughs> win? They just go as five. They run into this B site. Give K Serato the right gun, and he'll give you the openers. Yeah, that is the case, Serato effect, man. Always good for a double headshot bonanza. Bonanza, rather. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Uh, uh. The old throat. Fallen. He's coming in from the pool. This is a dangerous retake. It's going to leave Liquid with little money if they lose it. And right now, that looks like the result. Trade from Yuri. Liquid's still down a man. And Grim looks away at the wrong time. Even the shotgun comes into play for Art. I love being proven wrong. You've got to respect it. Sawn you know? off comes out. Art's like... <laughs> Just slaying them with it, I guess. But you can't get away with that as you're around every round. Right? That was just five players running amok into the B-bomb yeah. site. Not really something that Lick would have had to contend with yet. Junior is donning the T-side orb. And Art has got one as well. So it's a double T-side orb. I could probably count on one hand the amount of times I've ever seen a double T orp attempted on Inferno. Right. This does not happen a lot. Pulling out all the stops to win this series. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good sign or not. <laughs> We're going to have to wait and see. Oh, fall. Oh. No, no. He's been known for a nasty grenade in times gone by, but that really is one. Fallen is that, got that, is that his birthday present now? Yeah. You're really going to do Fallen like that? Ah. Elise. He's the kind of guy that does a birthday right. He's trying to win rounds for Fallen. Naf's trying to tilt him. <laughs> He's making up for it, though. Another kill. Vinny with a knife out. Junior's going to molly pit, so Vinny has clear positions. But on the balcony sits Grim. Falling out into short, and Naf has a second. Third kill of the round, if you want to count it. That's on you. Oh, Junior looks away. He did see Naf peek in last second. But... <laughs> The timing of that. Grim was so patient on top of Balcony and Liquid. It looks like the red carp is getting yeah. rolled out. I want to know, Robin, what do you make of a double orb T side? Like, being real, you know, at this scoreline, is that a risk that you can get behind? Or uh, I mean, or is that like making you, got... you scratch your head a bit as well? I don't know. I feel like if you're Fury here, right, you're just trying some stuff out. Like, you have the double orb set up, as we've seen up top. Uh, underneath Liquid score there. It's been a very dominant CT side. So sure, yeah, it's very unorthodox, something you don't tend to see. Maybe if you're feeling that CTs are just running it all over you, the double ops sort of could potentially work. Um, but yeah, um, I was going to say, I would have you know, liked Fury to just go back to what won them the, the previous round, right? Let's go all go together. Let's do something as a unit. Pretty clear that Liquid, these one-on-one uh, -on -one fights and all that, they're definitely getting the better of Furia. Pretty consistently again oh, here we see, right? Rather than just sticking together, right? Let's go together as a group. Let's go and, and just be very good on our trade game. 
Oh, Lee, oh she's had enough. no. How does he get to there? Yeah, don't get me wrong, Vinny. It's cool that he's so deep and that he's trying to cause chaos, but he's still dead after one. And Lee's just peed up Liquid to take 14 rounds, and there it is. 14 to 9. They're shooting bodies now. They're getting hype. They're really starting to feel this one. And, and you know, even, even for Liquid, a squad that have had so many problems with choking, this just... This feels different. Yeah. Something that this feels yeah. different today. This is Liquid raising the bar, raising the level. They want to reclaim that throne at the top of NA. And I don't what a way to do it, yeah, right? Yeah. No one could argue with a 3-0. There is no dispute in that. You can't say, oh, well, if a few rounds had gone different, nah, man. It would have taken entire orders of magnitudes difference. Yeah, if, we were, if this would have been this two back. days ago, right, the upper bracket, that would have been a final. Yeah, we would have been like, oh, you know, like, Fury could have had that and whatever. But, I mean, you do get the repeat we wanted, right? We, we get the rematch, but Liquid, yeah, there's no question about this if they were to go ahead and win this, right? 16-7 first map, 16-11 second map, and then potentially here, right? 16, maybe 9. Been a very dominant showing here from Liquid. Yeah. You can Same take it away from Fury, up. uh... I like that Molly and 8 setup that they have. Mm. They were re ready for it this time around though. So only does 14 damage to Kaser Auto. Here we go. We go. Re uh, I like this. Let's go as a unit. Let's take over mid. Let's trade. And let's be a little bit chaotic. Wow, Chaos is the name of the game. Let's see if they can bring it to the table. It's a quick trade on long. Stewie smoked off. One man and eight trapped in the pit. It's Grimothy again, and he's got a kill at least before he falls. Stewie gets spammed through the smoke. Might want to give it up until it fades. Wait for his teammates, but Yuri waits for no one. Cutting off a B rotate. Stewie through the smoke. Nothing new here, but the result is the same for Yuri. Three kills in the round, and double digits looks to be taken back by Furia. Fallen. He's hanging around. He knows they could offer up just an exit kill. But really what he wants more than anything is this AWP. Let's remember here? as well. I w well, yeah, he's being a little bit cheeky here. Yeah. He is going to go oh, down. I was going to say, let's remember what happened two days ago on this map. Because it was looking pretty similar, right? Liquid was in the lead. But then they got caught with bad economy. And it was only until the last round, right? They finally got the economy up and running. It was 15-14 at that point, And they won the last round. We kind of see a very similar kind of, you know, map, I guess, shaping up to be. Now we find even Fallen goes down with the AWP. They're broke. Should be a double eco setup here for, for Liquid. So if you're Furia... You're still in this. But maybe. Maybe we see the yeah, repeat. Yeah. You've got to hope the head's still in it as well, right? Like, already been dominated on two maps, been barely holding on to this one. Two rounds in the T side for Furia. Now they want one back to back. And that slight mention of the money, Robin. Well, it's at least coming in true for Liquid. They're fully committing to this one. They want to close it while they still can. It's a respectable buy, but if they lose it, then they're going to be you know, digging holes, looking for pennies for a couple of rounds. Liege. No waiting around today. I love this move. Oh, he's got the backstab. Lots of damage, and he converts it. Can he escape? Yuri's up in apps on oh. the chase. Elise just running away, and Yuri a little bit late to the party. Elise takes some damage, but he also takes a five on four for Liquid. Oh That's my devastating. god! I the can't cockiness. believe that man. Yeah, he runs in there and he gets out like a bandit. He's getting <laughs> chased by you know security out of the building, <laughs> and he gets away with all the loot. Does Elise? All right, Fury are now a man down. They weren't able to get the trade, so they're going to fall back into a B play by the looks of things. They do have this one man over towards A, and Yuri throwing a bit of utility out. The rest of it is now pouring into this B bomb site. Liquid sure to pieced it together that it's feeling like a B hit. They lose Stewie in the back of the site. Oh, but this is still winnable. They have the fast banana flank. All Naf needs to do is soften them up, stay alive, buy time. <gasps> oh, and he's done more than that. He's done the bomb plant. That buys even more time now for Liquid to get into position. They're up through banana. They're fast into this location. They're ready to go. Molly onto the back of the site. Yuri is holding from this boost. But once again, that bomb plant is denied. Kesarato oh. and Yuri will hold on. 
They keep it in check. Furia up onto 11. Maybe still in with a chance after all. It's getting close as we approach the end of regulation. Small and things Robin's there. Robin's right by, about uh... the money. Yeah, a small things there from Liquid as well. They could have won that round. They had a Molly on the side. Grim has a smoke and a flash. He only used the smoke. Doesn't use the flash to kind of enter the bomb side. He's the one that takes the lead there instead of, say, for example, the leash. Smaller things. Maybe that round could have been turned around on the one flashbang. But yeah, exactly this, right? 14 11. Liquid, they're broke. Even for next round, they're obviously going to buy, but they're not going to have the money that they want. And that's round 13, right? So, I mean, very identical to kind of what we saw two days ago. The only difference is that Liquid's on 14 rather than 15. This is not over yet, boys. No, certainly true. I mean, we wanted a five map, or I'm still not going to be against the idea. But we've got to see if Furia can earn it. Right now in this round, surely. Ball may be late, but four players of Furia walking up the short side. Liquid gambled on the wrong side. But this is the kind of round where you want to pull out those gambles, right? Hope for the best. Hope Furia make the mistake of walking willingly into your pistols. And while they won't today, there's always another time. There's always another try. And in fact, there's another buy coming for Liquid. So yeah, go in for damage, go get kills, make some money on the way out, but you're not winning this round and they know that better than anyone. 12 to 14, yeah. and here it is. Okay, this is this is where it matters a lot, right? If Liquid want to dodge all the stress, if they want to stop their hair falling out, <laughs> uh, if Fallen doesn't want any greys growing in, this is, um, this is where you want to pick up your round. You want to get it right now. You want to get onto 15 and have a little margin, a little bit of money as well banked up. Anything just to kind of stem this uh, this bleed and stop the comeback from coming through. If they lose this, the odds are Fury to tie this up at 14 14. Yeah, and while they, they definitely have to go for this buy right, it's going to have weaknesses. You have to get Famuses to get the utility in here if you're liquid. It also means no AWP. We know what how much impact Fallen has found on Long in this CT side already. Right now it's a Liege because Grim's in the pit and there's only two players on A here for Liquid. Still keeping this triple B standing. Stewie retakes the top of Banana. Put a Molly in the sandbags and he goes flashing through. Oh, that's a whiff. If only it wasn't the Famas, maybe a freebie for Stewie 2K instead. It's a pick for Furia and they've doubled up on A. Furia wrapping the site. You may have contained them at Banana, but that doesn't matter when the true objective is A. It's only Grim there. Fallen's been cut off for the rotate. Grim can't hit the shot, and Nap may as well save. Oh, dearie oh. me. <laughs> we said it right. One more eco now. It's going to be 14 14. <laughs> okay. Okay. I would kind of love to see another one of these like utility rounds into middle and banana. I, I you know, we, we, we've seen Furia taking a lot of control here. Remember that nice little molly nade combo that burnt out Vinny? Even something like that on one of these eco rounds could be kind of cool. Right, banana's often been getting taken in the early stages of this. The utility last round did all right damage. But it's no secret. This is not as comfortable as it was once looking. We've got to give credit to Furia for the resilience here, right? Already two maps down in this series. They were significantly behind. It was 14-9. They could have just kind of got in their own heads yeah. and stopped believing at that point. But nah, they're still fighting. And now they're in a position where they can tie this game up relatively easily at that. Yeah, Yuri and Kesarato have had so many massive openers on both sides of the map at the same time in this T-half. So any more of that will leave Liquid on the back seat. In this round, certainly. One flash, one smoke. Stewie with no grenade to B means that, you know, it's uh, looking like a free round for Fury. They've got all the right reads on these anti-ecos, man. They've avoided two stacks, one on B and now the one on A. Fallen may be running, but there's not much as Flash is going to do. It's not going to deter Fury. They're still committed. Stalls them for a second. Fallen finding the Deagle. 
bit of damage is all you can really wish for. It's a Fury around. Call it now. Yeah, all these players are low. Like, you know, maybe some well-placed smoke shots could try and change the outcome of this round, the boost. Good for sniping one, but Fallen is caught through that smoke there. A liege through CT Aww. and dead to Yuri. Leaves it all on Nafly in a one-on-four retake of this B-bomb site and only armed with a deagle. You know, while they're low, and while Nafly is a literal living god incarnate as a sloth creature, this is one that even he cannot deal with. A sloth creature? Yeah. It's a 14 all. Mm. Maybe there's still some legs on this grand final after all. What's our next map? Is it Mirage, I think, and then Vertigo to close? Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. And, I mean, if you're on Mirage, they can be terrifying. Naf's dead with a bomb. Can he take anyone down with him? No. Actually, oh, did die. So, not the end of the world. But you're not going to be you know, doing any kind of damage to Fury's economy at this point in the game. It's coming down to this round, this buy round here for Liquid. They have been waiting for it. And look at the results it's given them. Double Orb as well. Who's going to be on that B site? I would imagine Stewie from what we've seen. Last time they went with Util over weapons. This time it's quite the opposite. They've still got a volley of grenades as well on the other three players. Stewie towards that B bomb site. Now fly by his side. All those grenades will come in handy. And Furia. Haven't had much from Junior on this T-Half. He's had the AWP a lot. He's not really been needed. Well, he's got two targets to take down this time around. Okay, Serato lurking B. Furia taking middle. And here's that AWP battle we've been waiting for. Yeah. This oh, could see be the, the shadow? Ooh. Ooh. The flashes go past. Keep your eye on the apartments as well, because we do have a late oh, entry no. in through apps. A missed shot out of Fallen. They're not up the short side yet, so Fallen's given a chance to reposition. Oh, no. Vinny is dead in the apartments, and Fury are leaving me. mid, running back into a B play. Still two here for Liquid. They could try and get ahead of this. They're calling back this player in CT, realizing that A is now far too quiet. Nafly tucked in. <gasps> Stewie's getting run oh. down in CT. They're through this smoke. Naf is still in the back of the site. He loses Stewie wow. as Arts doubled up. Naf has now got to do it all. And while he's good for two, he's set up Liquid. He's given them a chance at least. Nafly done everything he can to give Team Liquid the opportunity to get onto 15. Grim and Fallen, the two players left up against it. Serato holding deep in the ruins, nails the shot on Grim, and now it's Fallen versus his oh. Brazilian brethren. Oh, they're jumping around with each what? other. Oh. Fallen with the no scope, but it doesn't connect, and Serato gets Furia onto 15. That's so cocky, man. That's Listen, you win those, but extremely cocky we see i'm not sure man we see the same thing again grim has a smoke flashback he doesn't use it right he dry peeks in in in, in spools there again we don't know where they are maybe he wants to save them for the bomb site but yeah you, you put fall you're leaving fallen in these one on two situations not gonna win it, it was very close 15 14 now a man down to the wire yeah you gotta give it to furia for remaining resilient all this time not giving up, not going down. Oh, that hunt into CT last round, killing all those rotations. A heck of course, Stewie's down banana, flashed out, and a taste of his own medicine from Serato. That's Naf alone at the back of B, and this time they'll surely expect him as well, right? It seemed like Fury discounted him in the previous round, especially after hunting down two CT players prior to him peaking. Five on four, Fury. They play their cards right. This cannot be a lost round, and Vinny's got another killing a leisure at the top of middle is falling apart for liquid they're getting aggressive they're getting picked apart out of this map grim up in the apartments naps running his rotate Vinny hears it grim's trying to make a play on his own and that is what he's on on his own no teammates no help and no map for liquid it is stolen right at the bitter end by furia 16 to 14 the bo5 final goes on and mirage is coming up next so you do not want to miss it <laughs>